Hey guys, um, I got, so what I got here is the chain case back together. Um, so I didn't put the C-clips on yet because I want to take it apart and show you guys how it actually comes apart. So I kept these off for now, but that's what locks everything in place is just two little C-clips. And yeah, it's, so this is part two to that XF1100. In this case, it's a turbo chain case scenario because I guess this is a common thing and I found out the hard way that uh, when they got like 9,000 miles they need some TLC so it is what it is I did get a good deal on the machine so I'm happy about that but um, okay so that's everything as it is this is fully together uh, I'll just explain some stuff so there's an actual actuator right there that's the actuator the actuator goes into that piece okay that's a safety lock to keep it from spinning out of gear so that is a must i would get that if you don't have that i think the 12s 2012s and 213 2013s excuse me didn't have that um but you want to check and i'll show you that later uh what that actually looks like when it's in place it basically goes in that hole which in turn this little gear right here so this little gear goes through this hole so to pretend the chain case is on then that goes in and it catches the reverse system and when it turns it turns this little gear okay this is why if this isn't right or if there's slop you can strip gears and strip reverse and all kinds of trouble so because I've kind of done it all but this actuator slides this over and now boom it's in reverse the second chain down here the chain on the outside that's your reverse chain so now that's gonna reverse the machine then you hit the button and the actuator runs again and it will make some pretend noises because that's really annoying then this goes like that okay goes straight back in locks into position it's no longer spinning on this reverse gear and then it starts running on the forward chain so that's your forward chain in the back there so it's a pretty simple setup once you get going with it and you kind of reverse engineer it, then it's uh, it's not a problem. Like you just gotta really think about it and look at it and think about it. Over here, I realized this had fallen right out. That's your adjuster. So this strange jawbone looking thing, as your chain starts to, uh, this is my reverse chain, so that's why it's sloppy. But the other chain is pretty tight. So as the chain on the inside gets looser, this adjuster will drop down a link and keep it tight. What happened was my chain was so sloppy, this fell right out. And then it was just running on um, spring tension here. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, let's, uh, let's take this apart a little bit. So there's a washer here. So I'll take that off. Okay. Then there's this, uh, you know, reverse gear. Okay. That just comes off I'm gonna put it over here so I got everything so if you look there's actually an Articap part it's called snubber rubber what the heck snubber rubber yeah it is called snubber rubber so that piece fits into there okay so this piece fits into there so make sure you check that make sure it's not all chewed up um, my old one it wasn't bad vacuums going here the old one's on the floor but here you can see the old one is a little bit ripped eh? a eh? showing my Canadian here so that's a let's see if this thing will focus so it's a little bit ripped there and uh, a little bit ripped on 
not sure why this thing won't focus. Let's go with that. There, a little ripped on there. So get a new one. And when you slide that on into onto this gear, what it does is it takes the, so right now when it goes back and forth, it's like this, right? So with that snub, whatever it's called, we'll go in there, it'll take that play away. Snub, what's it called? Snubber rubber reverse. Part number 2602415. Don't make sure that's looking good. Now this is actually the reverse piece. So I'm gonna take that off. And then, so the, these pins just come out. Just like that. Pull this other pin. Okay. So this is where I should have taken better pictures, but there's a there's a spacer here. And I know there's a spacer on the other on the other side. Now what I'm trying to remember is the C clip go on first and then the spacer, or does the spacer go on first? And then the C clip. To me, the spacer goes on first, and then the C clip. But I want to just double check that. Because, but that, that's what makes sense to me, is that way. Um, so, so that's that. And then we'll take the reverse gear off just to kind of show you guys. There you go. So that's the reverse system. That goes to the inside. If you do it the wrong way, uh, chains will be rubbing together and uh, you'll have all kinds of trouble. So there's only one way it really goes back together. And uh, yeah, maybe what I'll do is I'll show you how this rubber thing goes on and then I'll start putting it all back together. But so here's your adjuster. You can see I got still have some adjustment at the bottom, which is good. Um, there's also a washer here. There's a washer there we talked about. There's a washer on the other side. If I, I'm not going to pull this all off. And then the C-clip here goes here. So the C-clip goes in there. And the other bigger C-clip goes right here on the outside of that spline. And that is, I don't know if there's much more to really show you, but unless I think of more stuff, I guess I'll give you a history of the machine. Um, bought it, got a good deal. Uh, it was popping out of gear. Um, ran into troubles. I took it to a dealership at first because I didn't want to, deal with it didn't know what I was getting into so gave it to them they put a new what did they do a new actuator brand new actuator took it out uh and they did a whole bunch of other stuff too um brand new primary clutch on this side so that's brand new um this and that other stuff too but uh, we're talking about the chain case so actuator went on and it was popping out of gear. Eh? It was just going into it like almost like neutral. Got it back from the dealer, did about 60 miles, popped out again. Went to put it into gear by using the reverse, obviously, forward reverse thing. And it, as soon as it went, in, it went into reverse, I backed up, no problem. As soon as I went to put it into gear, it made a heck of a terrible grinding noise. And what that was, was this gear, uh, where, just a second here, this gear, let's see if I can get better light, slit, went to slide back into drive, 
And when it did, it didn't reach go properly and it she ground pretty hard. And it was just grinding the grinding the crap out of that gear. And uh, so it wrecked it wrecked that gear. And then it also stripped this gear here. So like almost a double whammy, you could say. Uh it wasn't a great Great feeling. Took it back to the dealer again. Um, did some research. Realized I needed this fix. So this piece goes... I'll show that in another video because I can't do everything here. But this is a fixed piece. Like this is the update. I mean. It sits in here. Locks in with those teeth. On this, this nub. So got that done. Put the update piece in. Uh, did about five, 600 miles. So I thought I was in the clear and then sh the chain started jumping. Um, so it was making that ratcheting noise, uh, after 500 miles. So took it up. Then I decided I better start working on it myself. I can't afford to just keep taking the dealer. And I mean, they're trying their best, but at the end of the day, it's a lot. It's uh, past what I can afford kind of thing. And, uh, and, uh, so started working on it myself and this is kind of where it's at. The chain was super sloppy. Opened it up. This adjuster was falling down here. So this whole piece here was flopping down here. And then, uh, that's only on spring tension now, right? This is locked in now. So it's actually, it's got some serious tension on there. Like before with it all, this thing falling down. And then sitting down here, I could take the chain and go like this, back and forth. So that's why it was jumping the gears, right? It didn't wreck the gears, so that was a good thing. But, uh, well, it's these are lessons learned, right? You just, sometimes you, you, you look back and you go, oh, I should have changed this and done this, and I would have saved these gears, and I would have saved that, and blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, this is how you learn. Sometimes you, you end up breaking stuff before you figure out how it all works right but uh dealer tried their best but i at the end of the day now i kind of know what i got here right so and i understand what i'm looking at and when you have more ex understanding the better things are like you can just you feel better about stuff knowing what's going on so okay so i'm gonna put all the gears back on put the c-clips on uh check those washers make sure they're in the right spot which i think they are and then uh, I'll get it to where I'm ready to put that actuator on this guy and this safety uh, update that prevents it from popping out of gear. So I'll get to that point, do a small video. This video is like 13 minutes. So I'll see you on part three. And uh, yeah, hope, uh, I hope all you guys are doing well out there. Okay.